Hi there, in this episode, we're diving into the powerful role of energy clearing in manifesting your soul aligned goals. If you've ever been feeling stuck or blocked in your progress, this simple practice can help you remove hidden obstacles, creating space for clarity, momentum and abundance. I'm going to share something really special with you today and learn how energy clearing can be a game changer that shifts you from stagnant to unstoppable. So let me ask you a question. Do you ever feel like that no matter what you do, you're always running into an invisible wall, multiple walls when it comes to manifesting your goals? Yes, or you're not alone. We've all been there and you're you're putting in the work, you're setting goals, taking steps, and yet something just doesn't seem to be clicking and you feel stuck or like there's an invisible barrier holding you back. The truth is these are often energy blocks, emotional, mental, or physical. And these blocks could cloud your vision and prevent you from stepping fully into your potential. But here's the good news. You can clear the energy blocks. And in today's episode, I'm going to share how energy clearing can transform your journey and introduce you to a simple but powerful tool I use with my clients, the Goal Anchor, to keep your energy aligned and moving forward. But first, I want to share with you what energy blocks really are. Energy is the emotion, the thought, the feeling, the behavior, the actions that you take, but it all begins with the power of thought. And that's very much connected with your nervous system, by the way. And so most people are operating in fear. They're coming from a place that is low vibration. They're looking through the lens of fear of failure, fear of not being enough, fear of not of being discovered as a fraud, fear of, you know, all sorts of things that are going to keep them really being in their authentic self. And so the actions taken from that place is often an avoidance uh, action to prevent pain. And so you want to be able to make sure that you are connecting with energy that is in a frequency of love and above, because now you're operating through a lens that says, I'm a creator. And there is no, there's no even polarization around fear because it's not an issue. Now, does that mean we never experience fear? No, we feel fear, but we do it anyway, because we recognize that fear is just a false illusion. But the problem with energy blocks is that they tend to be manifested in the symptoms of physical sensations. Most people don't even know what the feelings are or let alone the thoughts that are driving the feelings. And so it might be manifested as some sort of physical sensation like anxiety or stress. You'll feel it as contraction. Or on the other end of the spectrum, it'll be excitement and expansion, joy, gratitude, peace. These are indicators of what the energy is that you were operating from in that moment in time. And if you have energy blocks, it will, they will manifest in stagnation, procrastination, or even overwhelm. Next, I want to share with you the impact of unresolved energy on manifesting, because it's going to end up, no matter how much action you take or doing all the right things, the blocks will continue to hold you back from manifesting your goals, bringing them into your physical reality and in your you know, expression of what you see, hear, feel and know. And so it's really important to clear energy blocks to create the space and the alignment. And so when you remove the blocks, it allows you it allows more clarity and your energy to flow to not just enter through your life and have that life force energy expressing in the actions that you take, but it will also manifest with clarity for you. And you'll be able to put your attention on your intention of what you're creating versus being hijacked to the fear of what might fail, what might not work. You get what I'm saying here? So now let me introduce you to my tool, the Goal Anchor. It's a practical tool that I share with my clients where you pull from the idea of what you're creating in that's in the ether and pull it into your physical reality. And so this allows you to have some manifested form of the bigger vision that you are creating. Some of the Goal Anchors that I've seen some of my clients use, are, for example, a client wanted to go to France on a trip. 
And so she got herself a little uh, statue of the Eiffel Tower to put on her desk and it acted as a trigger for her to put her attention on the intention of what she's creating instead of being worried about the fear and the doubt and the worry. And so that little icon or that little statue of the Eiffel Tower had her research and dream and anticipate the positive outcome, taking action each and every day to move towards that goal and also changing the story of what she's sharing with people, making sure that, you know, she's talking about this wonderful trip for the future. Another goal anchor that I've had another client who wanted to build their new home on a beautiful block of land that overlooked mountains, then behind the mountains you could actually see the sea, the ocean. And so when I took her through a deeper process of being aligned with that, then the goal anchor, because part of that experience was she saw herself sitting on her couch, looking through her beautiful glass windows on the top deck and could see the ocean. And as she was sitting on the couch, she could feel the couch and the cushions she was leaning on. And when she described the cushions, I said to her, go and get one of those cushions as a goal anchor. Bring that piece of your future self into your reality now. So that's another example. I'll give you one of my own. So um, these here um, are my, this is my gratitude gains appreciation journal. Now, when I had the awareness in my soul calling to print it, I, had, or I was already teaching this in one format with inside my groups. But the first thing I did was create a cover and wrap it around a book. They look very similar, don't they? But this is the mock cover and this is the real book that has or the journal that's been printed. So I was able to pull that into my reality now. And then within weeks, it was manifested. In fact, it wasn't just one. It was triplets that I gave birth to when it came to actually bringing that into a reality. By the way, you can get these on Amazon. It's the only place you can purchase them if you look up the Gratitude Gains Appreciation Journals there. So I wanted to share with you the goal anchor because that gives you this, this physical tool that you can use now. So let's just briefly talk about some practical steps, some tools that you can use to clear energy, to get you started. Now, these tools that I'm going to mention to you are tools that I use all the time, every day with my clients. And I do go much deeper, but to get you started and get you moving, I want to share with you three. One of them is meditations. And I've got a whole playlist of meditations on my channel, in my YouTube channel. So uh, and if you're on my podcast, you can search for those as well. There'll be a bunch of meditations that you can choose from. Go in and, and subscribe to my channel if you've not already subscribed, but definitely save that playlist and use those. Another tool to use is breath work. Why does breath work work? Well, the reason why is because it slows down your nervous system, your frequency, your brain waves. It There's a whole bunch of other reasons for it. But when you take a focus on slowing down your breath and you're and you're going through intentional breath work you take yourself out of that fear frequency and raise your frequency into a love frequency and so you shift your energy into a more peaceful harmonious synchronistic state and you're going to have much more clarity in your internal vision as well as uh, be inspired for what your next best, best action is Another tool that I use, a third one, which is really important because I see that most people get all up in their head and overthink. And if this is a problem for you, then you want to use this tool. Now I'm going to hear, I know what I'm going to hear already. Oh my God, but I don't journal. So the tool is journaling, but not just any journaling, it's automatic journaling. And the reason why journaling is so important is because it gets you out of your head in the thinking mind where you're all up here, only focused in think, think, think. You're trying to solve a problem from the conscious mind. When you're journaling and you're using your hand to write in the journal, you're using your body to activate. Your subconscious mind runs the body and your super conscious connects directly with your subconscious, not your conscious. So when you're automatically journaling, you'll have information that flows through and you'll have a lot more ahas that will help facilitate you to identify what's been blocking you, maybe even capture some limiting beliefs for you to now to challenge and change. 
Is that pretty cool? Does that give you a really good indication of why energy clearing is a powerful tool for resetting your path and opening yourself up to new possibilities? And when you pair your personal goal anchor uh, with these, with this information, with the energy block clearing, you create a great strong foundation for consistent action towards manifesting your desires and bringing your your vision into reality now and you know speaking of now if you're ready to take a next step and experience more transformation in this process yourself i actually have something really wonderful for you and it's free so you can jump on and grab my setting your intentions clarify your goals and create your best year yet workbook it's a 33 page workbook with a full framework in it that i guide you through with a couple of video tutorials as well to help you with the process and you can take this element of the goal anchor that i'm sharing with you here which is a part of my soul goal mapping challenge process. By the way, the book soul goal mapping is coming out later at the end of 2024. So stay tuned for that. But with the goal anchor, that's a really important trigger for you to be able to prompt you to put your attention on your intention and taking that inspired step for what you're creating. So let's clear the blocks and start manifesting success together and if you love this episode please hit like leave a comment down below let me know what inspired you what you like about it especially around the goal anchor what is going to be your goal anchor that you are creating um, to get you to move into momentum and make sure that you share this as well with someone that you love or on your socials that'd be really fantastic And until next time, I will see you on the next episode with lots of love, light and manifesting miracles, magic and more. From my heart to yours, bye for now.